Hi everybody, I'm Rockin' Robin. Today I'm going to show you how to make bolillos. You ever heard of it? Well, basically what it is is a, is a dinner roll that is used very often for tortas. And tortas are Mexican sandwiches, basically. And so this nice bread, which can be used as a dinner roll too, reminds me of a baguette. It has a nice crusty exterior and the inside is nice and tender and moist. So I'll show you how to do it right after this. I do want to mention before we get started uh, that I'm going to be using a KitchenAid mixer. It just makes life so much easier when you've got that and it does all the hard stirring for you. And so I just want to mention that. I hope you have one. Anyway, let's go over those ingredients. Okay, so I'm using uh, all-purpose flour here. I've got about almost five cups. We'll need some water and I'm using a thermometer to make sure that I get it up to at least 105. I'll probably go for about 110 to 15 degrees to activate the yeast and I'm using a couple packages here of the uh, Fleischmann's yeast for that. And we're gonna need a little bit of some melted butter. And then I've got some sugar over here, some salt, and then for our glaze, I'm gonna be doing some cornstarch with a little water and we'll cook that separate on the stove. So the first thing we wanna do is activate our yeast. Now, we're not gonna preheat our oven yet because it's gonna be about an hour or so before we can even bake it in the oven, but we'll be doing that at 375 degrees so you know. Okay, so I got my water, make sure it's nice and warm. 100 and mine's at about 115 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the, the yeast and the sugar. And we're just gonna give this a stir and then we're gonna let it sit for about five minutes and you're gonna see it get a little foamy and the yeast will be activated. So I'm gonna place almost all of my flour into my KitchenAid mixer. I'm gonna leave out about, oh, close to a cup because I'm not sure if I'm gonna need absolutely every part of this. And I'm gonna place the butter in there and the salt and my activated yeast. I'm going to pour all of that in, make sure you scrape it all out. And we'll attach our hook. You want to use the hook for this. I'm going to blend this on number two for a couple of minutes. Now hopefully what we want to see is the dough start to pull away and form a nice ball. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of that flour. And again, I'm on speed two. So you can see that the dough has uh, formed a ball and it's pulled away from the sides, it's sticking to the hook. So I'm gonna let this blend for maybe just another minute or so. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna put the dough on the counter because I like to play with it just a little bit. We need to have a little bit of flour on our board here because I'm gonna knead it myself just a little bit because like I said, I really enjoy uh, doing my dough by hand just a little bit. So we'll pour our dough out here. And we're gonna knead it just a bit. Uh, you can see it's a little sticky there. So when you knead your dough, what you wanna do is pick it up, push it down, and rotate it a quarter turn. See how I'm doing that? And get a little more flour. If it gets a little sticky on you, Put some more flour down. And I'm just gonna knead this for just a couple minutes here. Once we get this nice smooth texture, as you see here, look at that, it's beautiful. I'm gonna place this into my bowl here that I put some oil in. And I'm just gonna rotate it so that the bread is covered. And then I'm gonna cover this with a towel. And we're gonna set this aside for probably about an hour. I want this to double in size. Now a good place to put this in a nice kind of warm area is in your oven. Make sure you don't turn it on though. It's been about 45 minutes since our dough went into the oven and look at there. You can see that it has doubled in size. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to punch it. That's the fun part. Punch it and it kind of deflates it and I'm gonna put some flour down here on my counter and I'm gonna go ahead and knead it again for a couple minutes maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and knead this. It's very nice and smooth and elastic and that's exactly what we want. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little coating of oil, I've got olive oil here, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my pan because I wanna grease my pan. And I don't like to use those Pam sprays, I've decided, because I don't like the ingredients that are in them. There's propellants and, you know, just artificial chemicals in there, and I figure, you know what, why not just use some really healthy olive oil instead? Now I'm ready to start um, making my little rolls. So you want to take a piece of dough, you know, it's hard to say exactly how much, but I want to divide this up anywhere from 10 to 12 pieces. And obviously the, the, more, you, the more you make, the smaller they're going to be. I want it to be about, oh, I'd say like two inches across and pointy at the ends, so something like this because that's the traditional shape of the bolillos. And you want to put these on your cookie sheet, and you want to leave about three inches in between them so that they have room to expand. And in fact, after I get all of these on the cookie sheet, I am going to go ahead, cover it with a towel again, and let it sit for about 20 minutes or so, maybe 30, just depends, and until they almost double in size. So while I'm waiting for the rolls to rise, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the cornstarch and water mixture. So just. Place that in your, in your pan there with the cornstarch. I've got it over medium-low heat. And all we're going to do is cook this until it starts to come to a boil and it turns clear. Okay, so we're ready to have a look at our rolls. They have grown a bit, I would say. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to make a little bit of a slit in each one. You can do one slit or two, depending on what you want to do. Um, traditionally, Bulios has a slit more to the side, so I'm going to go ahead and make just a, a, a little slit if I can. It's kind of tough because the, the dough tends to want to stick, but you make a slit maybe half an inch deep, and uh, sometimes I like to put two slits just for fun. So I'm just going to slice it right along like that. Gosh, I might even try a happy face. Ooh, wouldn't that be fun? I think I'm going to do it. I'm gonna make a happy face dough roll. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna take my cornstarch that we cooked on the stove and I'm gonna brush the top, well, the whole thing really, the whole, the sides and everything. And this gives it a nice little sheen to it. And then, like I said, it's gonna go in the oven for somewhere between 30 and 35 minutes and they'll be nice and golden brown. Okay, our rolls are done. And I tell you, if you could smell how wonderful it is in my kitchen. Oh my gosh, you would be, you would run out and make these today. All right, so, oh, these are beautiful. Okay, so one way you can tell that they're done too is obviously they're golden brown. You tap that, you hear that hollow sound? That means they're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these over on my wire rack and let these cool off. I'm gonna be serving these with my dinner tonight. And I tell you, you can use these for sandwiches, tortas, dinner rolls, whatever you want. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut one of these open for you so you can just see what it looks like on the inside. There you go. Nice fine texture, I tell you, it's, oh, it's nice and soft inside. And of course, it's a little bit crusty on the outside. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I come out with new videos all the time. And, you know, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to share it. It really helps me out. And I want to thank some of you who have been leaving me some really nice comments. And I just want to say thank you. And I really appreciate your support. So, anyway, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. I almost forgot to show you my happy roll. Here he is. Look at him. Look at that big smile he's got on his face. I call them my happy roll. So make somebody happy and make some happy rolls. <laughs>